A lot of you guys know I don't eat a lot of ground beef except for like a burger, sometimes a meatball because I just don't like ground beef that much. I really rather use turkey or ground chicken. So we're gonna use ground turkey in our hamburger helper turkey meat cheeseburger casserole. So that's what we're going with this. Okay, feel me, feel me on this. So a lot of recipes I looked up all had some type of pasta as an agent in the whole casserole. Um, elbow pasta was like the winner, but I didn't have elbow pasta. I did have a box though of these lasagna sheets. And what I'm going to do is crack them up so that they're all different sizes. And when they mix, because they're, they're already baked, listen, this might fail. This might fail horribly, but we got to give it a shot. Um, so we're going to try the no baked lasagna sheets to start. I have the turkey meat on the stove browning and then we're going to drain it. So simple, like I said, if you don't want to use turkey meat, you can use ground beef or ground chicken. Uh, I am going to do a small dice on the onion. And the reason is because I just like doing an onion and garlic in anything like this, I guess. I think it's just going to add flavor. Um, but the garlic is small dice. I mean, the onion is small dice and the garlic we are going to mince up. So give it a good crush with your knife and then run it. I'm doing four cloves for two pounds of turkey meat and a half of a sweet onion. Um, we're a big family, we like leftovers, so one pound of turkey meat wouldn't do jack squat for us. Four minutes, just wanna show you that nice pan sear caramelized on the trim of the pork cutlet. Um, if you have a hot spot on your range, just keep an eye on it so you can constantly move them around. But now another four minutes on this side. And then we'll put the other ones in. All of our turkey meat is ground. Brown, why can't I speak today? Um, and so I sauteed the garlic and onion right after, just adding that right on in. Um, I went till they were like a golden brown. So the garlic was minced, so it was nice and fragrant, and the onion just got a little bit of brown on it. So throw those two together. Um, adding in our fresh herbs and our seasoning. So I have smoked paprika, garlic, oregano, um, fresh parsley, salt, and black pepper. Um, now this is honestly what I would put if I was making my own burger mix, my own burger patty, patties. <laughs> burger patties, I have no idea what's going on. Um, so I'm using the same exact seasoning mix. Two and a half cups shredded cheddar, because that's what I would put on my burger. This is all what you would want to eat on your burger. Now you really want to make sure it's mixed really, really well. Um, you can always add more cheese if you like. I love more cheese. And the reason we want to make sure it gets mixed really well with the tomatoes, the pasta, um, is because we're going to put it, this is a greased Pyrex dish. I'm going to put it in here, even it out. And of course I'm going to add more cheese on the top. Um, but just so you can kind of see, our casserole's coming together. Everything in here smells really good. Um, I'm excited. I think this might be a win. The only thing I'm iffy about is the pasta because every recipe I saw was noodles that were like cooked and elbow pasta and that was folded in there. But I'm trying something new. Like I said, I have it sprayed. It's just the Pyrex depending on what size you need. But we're just going to scoop this on in, pushing it down, pushing it corner to corner. Make sure it's all evenly mixed. Gonna even it out. It smells really fucking good. I know I said it already, but this was easy. Like this was easy. And I can just imagine you doing this black bean and corn and doing tortilla strips and making it Southwest or Mexican. I mean, I think the options are endless here. You might be on to something. Well, hamburger helper might be on to something. All right. Oh my God, this is perfect. Two pounds of meat fit perfect in this Pyrex. All right, I'm just gonna even it out. Super even. I'm just using the shredded cheese that I had. I always have a bag or two inside. Gonna give it a nice topping. I think we're gonna use the whole bag here. Yep. Topping it. Going in the oven, 30 minutes, 350 uncovered convection. Then we'll pull it out, let it rest, 
And obviously we're gonna try it before it gets to the table. Cheeseburger casserole, look at that beautiful. Um, I've let it rest for a good like 10 minutes, just like lasagna. I want it like all to come together, but I'm gonna use my spoon and I'm gonna, it's still nice and hot. Um, Now, I will tell you, not a fail, but something I observed. If a, lot, a little bit of the pre-baked pasta shells that I broke up, kind of, I'll show you, were on the top. They gave like a really big crunchy aspect to it. Um, the ones that are actually inside, fully cooked. It tastes like a cheeseburger. It tastes like a cheeseburger. I'm not getting it. it. tastes like a cheeseburger. So I'm going to serve it with in bowls, shredded lettuce, tomato, onion. It's so good. It's really good. And the pasta that's in the inside, you can see, fully cooked. It's really good. All right. This is our hamburger helper for tonight. Uh, if you make it, let me know, tag us, follow us on YouTube. We put weekly recipes up, all different kinds of stuff. And of course we're on TikTok, so get on that and follow. Enjoy dinner.